Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of the talk show. I'm your host, Suri Smith, coming to you from the Daytona showroom over at Melrose Arch. We have an exciting lineup for this week, so let's not waste another moment. Grab that blankie and cup of hot chocolate because it's time to get this journey started. Coming up on the show, we test out the Isuzu KB 4x2X rider and meet its rival. We also meet the new BMW 5 Series and see how to change a flat tyre. Finishing off with motoring news. South African roads are hardcore, which means that you need a hardcore vehicle to match. What better than a bucky with a standout from the crowd attitude that is not all about purposeful and head-turning looks, but they can actually deliver when called on to do so. We found a bucky that is just that. Take a look at this stunner. What we have here is the Isuzu 4x2 X Rider, which was launched in April this year. The X Rider was actually introduced a year ago with a limited run of just over 700 units. But it struck a chord with the South African Bucky fan market and it sold out quicker than you can say hardcore. The Isuzu KBX Rider returns as a permanent fixture in the lineup, offering enhanced value and standout styling for the customers. South African consumers can now choose from 19 KB derivatives available in three body types, with the latest being badged as the KB250 4x2 X Rider Double Cab. The starting point is, as before, the high output 2.5 litre power plant, which has done sterling service in the KB range since its September 2015 introduction as part of wider facelift. With 100 kilowatts of power and 320 newton meters of torque, this common rail direct injection turbo diesel gives performance in keeping with the X Rider's sporty and recreational position. The interior though is not of the workhorse variety, rather it is where functionality and elegance come together to create a user-friendly environment. Features include full leather upholstery, leather steering wheel, leather gear lever boot, piano black door trim, piano black trim on air vents, radio and front console. You will be offered Bluetooth and USB to stay completely hands-free. You also have a multifunctional steering wheel where you can operate volume levels and also answer calls through. Visually speaking, the most obvious cues are the stylish diamond-cut 18-inch alloys with their red Isuzu center caps, the black bumper guard with integrated fog lamps, tubular sidestep sports bar combo in black with X-Rider decals and the blacked out B pillars. The wheels are shot with low profile 255 by 60 Grabber 80 all-terrain rubber. This domestic package is unique to the X-Rider. As I so often say, nothing beats the feeling you get when driving a bucky. You feel like you own the road. 
able to conquer any terrain, like a bows. Adding to your bows status is the heavy duty tow bar which comes as standard giving the X-Rider a 2.1 ton braked trailer towing capacity. And with peak torque kicking in at just 1800 rpm and remaining constant all the way to 2800 rpm. is extremely responsive and you would think that parking a large vehicle like this would be difficult but I can assure you if you know what you're doing it's not. At 388,400, I'd say that this newcomer offers a unique blend of versatility and comfort. Perfect for any family or business owner. Now we like to keep you, the consumer, up to date on all your options. So, if you are in the market to buy, let's see whether any of the beauties bumping head to head with the Isuzu X-Rider catch your fancy. Starting with the star of our show, the Isuzu KB250D Tech Double Cab X-Rider, which retails for 388400 The stylish X-Rider sports a turbocharged 2.5-litre diesel engine with manual transmission, consuming on average a very fuel-efficient 7.7 litres per 100 kilometres. You could also opt for the Ford Ranger 3.2 High Rider XLS, which retails for slightly more at 392,900. The turbocharged 3.2 litre diesel engine consumes on average 8.2 litres per 100 kilometres, which won't leave a dent in your pocket, and you will feel safe knowing that you have two standard airbags. Potholes. It is not the consumer's friend. That and sometimes money is just too tight to mention. And before you know it, that worn out tire bursts and you are stuck alongside the road. Murphy's Law, your phone just died and you're going to have to do it yourself. Don't know how to change a flat tire? Don't worry, we've got you covered because coming up next, we're going to teach you how. How to change a flat tire. Apply wheel wedges. Wheel wedges go in front or behind the tires to further ensure the vehicle doesn't roll while you fix the flat tire. Remove the hubcap or wheel cover. If your vehicle has a hubcap covering the lug nuts, it's easier to remove the hubcap before lifting the vehicle with the jack. If your lug nuts are exposed, you can skip ahead to step 6. Use the flat end of your lug wrench to remove the hubcap. This will work for most vehicles, but some hubcaps need a different tool to come off. Consult your owner's manual for proper hubcap or wheel cover removal procedures. Loosen the lug nuts. Using the lug wrench, turn the lug nuts counterclockwise until you break their resistance. Place the jack under the vehicle. The right place for the jack is usually beneath the vehicle frame alongside the tyre that's flat. 
Many vehicle frames have molded plastic on the bottom with a cleared area of exposed metal specifically for the jack. With the jack properly positioned, raise the vehicle until the flat tire is about 6 inches above the ground. Now it's time to remove the lug nuts all the way. Since you've already loosened them, you should be able to unscrew them mostly by hand. Remove the flat tire. Now place the spare on the hub by lining up the rim with the lug bolts. Push gently until the lug bolts show through the rim. Once they are all on, check each one again, tightening as much as possible. You will tighten them with the wrench after lowering the vehicle to the ground. Use the jack to lower the vehicle so that the spare tire is resting on the ground but the full weight of the vehicle isn't fully on the tire. Bring the vehicle all the way to the ground and remove the jack. You have before you a jack, a lug wrench, wheel wedges, your flat tire and possibly a hubcap. Don't forget to put all of them in your vehicle before driving away. You should check the tire pressure of the spare tire to make sure that it is safe to drive on. If the tire needs pressure, drive slowly to a service station immediately. It's now time to take a short break, but don't go anywhere because we will be right back with more motoring action. Do stay tuned.